Lucy Bird and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. In the last episode, we got our bunch of beat by an evil old lady. I need to make sure, yeah, okay, we healed up our Pokemon at the end of the last episode. I've been getting a lot of requests to play more of the Pikachu. I mean, I'm just trying to play whatever's gonna get us not beaten up. Looks like this Tauros and this uh, Mill Tank are having a bit of an argument, but, oh, are we talking to you? Huh? Hi, Farmer. Oh, you've gotta be a trial girl goer, right? Well, you've got a good sense of timing. The captain's actually here now, so come on in. All right, or I guess so come on, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> We're going into the big old field where there's a bunch of farm animals. Oh boy, where are you running to? Oh yeah, there, there's a girl, I remember her. Hi, oh, she's nice, she's just hanging out with the mill tanks. Hello. <laughs> So we gotta, do we have to battle you? Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Milk of, from pa Paniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in wa white sauce and other things. Mmm, the taste can't even be described. Okay, well they seem to be proud of it, and that's the most important thing. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. I'll kick your butt. No, okay. Stout Land was, Stout Land was registered to your ride pager? See, Stout Lound can st sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. When you're riding Stout Lound, press B to use that Stout Lound search is, okay, it's what it's all about. Get up there and try it. There's all kinds of stuff lying around waiting for you to find it. And Stout Lound will bark louder and louder the closer it gets to some item buried in the ground. Okay, if you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Brooklyn Hill. My friend Lana is up there, so say hi to her for me if you see her, sure. Okay, bye, she just storms off, I'm out of here. This guy smells bad. Let's go ride Stoutland. So, I don't currently have Stoutland equipped, I need to, oh yeah, it's a little doggy. I guess he ain't a little doggy. oh my gosh, he's huge. Okay, so there's something here, right? Uh, so I found, like if I find something, what button do I press? I have no clue. Uh, I have <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, press X to. Okay, wait, wait. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, no, I gotta do. Okay, this is so confusing. Hold on, I gotta check this again. <laughs> so how this works is that while it is blue, like I'm trying to find something, I have not quite yet found it. It has to be red, I guess. So I'm gonna be looking around. Oh, maybe it's over here between everybody, no? Okay, they're just all looking at me like, he's really bad at this. I'm really bad at this. I mean, clearly we're about to find something. It's around here, okay, it's it's a, sort of like a game of hot and cold. Everybody's all like, what? Yeah, I know, I feel the same way, Miltank. What the heck? Am I, oh, this is, oh, it's gonna, is it blinking more the closer I get? I don't think so. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, it just stick, sticks around. Um, okay. Oh, wait, I, I think I just found it. Oh, then I just put it away. <laughs> is that what I want to, this is so weird. Am I not like understanding the controls? Am I getting the buttons mixed up again? It's right here. There you go, dig it, dig it, do something. Or not. Okay, I found a repel. Cool. All that work for just a repel. Okay, I'm out of here, see ya. <laughs> what do I do now? Can I go to the right? I'd hope, oh yeah, I can go down this way. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, hello, sir, are you a trainer? Hey, I forgot I could just ride around with these guys. Are you raising Pokemon? Uh, sure. Why not, battle me, dude. Okay, so we're going against Farmer Brown. I know, Pokemon Breeder Glenn. I was close, I was close. So, what do you have for me, a mud brain? Whoa, yeah, it's this thing. So, I have Tim. I don't know how good Tim is gonna do it. We're still in our little riding suit. We look so silly. Tim, you just gotta have to do something. Uh, you can use fire. It looks like nothing we have is particularly like super effective against him, but nothing, oh, well. Oh, you flinched, huh? You flinched, you messed up. I'm gonna use the bite. Let's see if bite's any better. I mean, probably not any better or worse because, you know, it's basically the, holy cow! Wow, okay, that, that was super effective. See ya. I guess that was an earth move, because I think earth is effective against rock. Anyways, we can use Charco, and there goes Tim. I'm not having a good time with Tim. I gotta get somebody else in the lead until Tim gets some rock moves. I just don't think he's helping us too much. So if we fight, 
And then if we use, oh, I thought that, oh, this is a ghost move. All right, well, I'll use it. It's a lick, might as well do something, right? It's a ghost move, not a dark move, which is definitely different. If you're gonna use bulldoze again, oh, that hurts, but it's, it is super effective. Okay, what kind, I gotta figure out what kind of move bulldoze is. I think it's like, there's, I think there's an, a rock type, and then there's like a ground type, and they're different. So if I could figure that out, flying might be good then, maybe? You'd be able to fly above all the ground moves because you're flying above the ground. I don't know, something like that, right? Uh, Yeah, because I am flying. You're gonna try bulldoze. Yeah, here we go, okay, we found ourselves a good uh, opportunity here. Now when it comes to, we don't have anything super effective against you, but I'm gonna assume then you're a ground type Pokemon. Um. So I'm gonna Google that while we attack him. <laughs> and let's see. They're completely ineffective against flying, so I was right, this is definitely a ground type. Electricity, electricity powered. They are vulnerable to ice, water, and grass. Those are the three types we do not have. I feel like we need to find a way, like, I don't know, I'm starting to lean against not having Noibu in my team, because I feel like we need a water type. Of course, we haven't run into a water type where I'm like, that looks like a good Pokemon. Okay, that was good. I'm definitely gonna take care of my Pokemon here. But if we could find a good water type, that'd be good. Level 22 for Charcoal. And Noibu level 17, speak of the Noibu. And Pikachu, everybody's getting level ups right now. It's fantastic. Except for Tim. I might just need to revive because I don't want to go all the way back down. So let me go ahead and heal up or take care of whoever I can as well. Okay, well there's that battle done. Let me go ahead. I'm just gonna use the revive for Tim here. And so, I mean, I have a lot of them at this point, don't I? Where are they? They should be here. No, these are just berries. Would they be here? I guess they would be here. Revive, revive, revive. We have 10 of them. Once again, that is plenty. I don't think we're gonna need that many. And then I did buy a, a couple normal potions, I think. Antidote, burn heal, rare candy, revive, potion. I have five of them. So let me go ahead and use that on you. And then use one on you. Good enough, good enough. So I definitely want to also switch out my team. I don't think Tim should be in the front because he just keeps getting taken out and he's just a little bit under leveled. So hopefully we could keep, you know, getting him leveled up just through the experience, Sharon. So we're gonna move him out with, I think I, I want Beardy Bill to be a higher level. So we'll put Tim towards the end because almost all of like, we have three Pokemon over level 20, or 20 and above, that would be Charco, Pokepec, and Pikachu. Then we have three that are less than 20. So, um, let's move around a little bit. I see this little sign here. Riding on stout land is always a good idea, and you can find items that you can't see. Speaking of which, I haven't looked, okay, I keep pressing the wrong stinking button. Come back out here, stout land. There are no items around here, right? Oh, okay, there might be. Uh, I don't really like how this thing works, to be honest with you, it's really weird. This is like, it's, clearly there could be an item anywhere around here then. Cause I gotta really just scope it out. Maybe I should just play the entire game with Stetlands. Oh wait, yeah, I found it. Okay, what do you find? Nothing. Uh, are you digging in? Are you barking? I don't get what you're trying to do. X defense, okay. Okay, cool. I don't think I'm gonna use that too much, but oh, Pokeball, Pokeball. We get Paralyze Heal, that's good. Okay, oh, and there's my battle. Can we have Stoutland in the battle? Just charge the Pokemon and squish him? Because Stoutland's way bigger than I thought. Oh, it's one of these guys again. All right, well, maybe I should, I don't know if I should run. I don't know if, if Be is Beardy Bill weak to ground? I really don't think so. But you're only level 12. Our poison moves aren't very effective, which is not good. So I think I will switch you out. Or maybe I should just run. Maybe this is just like a huge waste of time right now. We'll try to run. You gotta wait safely. Okay. Just mud braids aren't my thing, apparently. But this one I'm really leaning towards getting a water type. I think it would be the coolest one. There is still battles to be had. I was gonna say there's still more items around here. And what are you, another? Oh, hey, look, it's another Tauros. So we can have a Tauros in our team. You, you have seen a Pokemon like this. You're lying. <laughs> but we could have a Tauros on our team and then also be able to ride a Tauros around. I don't think I want a Tauros, but We'll be able to learn more about Tauros here. I think Tauros is just a normal type. Oh, oh, hey, hey, ow. Oh, that didn't do too much. Yeah, it's not very effective. Then what type of Pokey, here, I'm gonna look up Tauros then. I mean, I guess we could figure it out after the battle. So far, this is working out pretty well. So we'll, we'll just take a look in the Pokedex. I don't like Googling everything. It just makes me feel like I'm cheating all the time, you know? So let me just keep going with what we got. 
And so far, we're doing pretty good, you know? So, that's good. Molotov's well, special defense actually fell good. Uh, his rage is building, that is not good. This should, might not be enough to take him out, but next round, oh, you got scary face. Oh, that's a scary face, all right. That's gonna keep me trembling for the rest of the day. Come on, come on, boom. Will that be enough? It will be enough. Level 15 Taurus is going down. Well, it's gonna be 431 experience, that's a ton. Level 19, good. I think we're starting to get starting to get a ton of experience here, but it might also be because our character is lower level. Team girl level 15, my boy, rock throw, finally! That's all I wanted from you. Forget an old move for sure. And we're gonna get rid of howl or tackle. We don't need tackle. We definitely do not need tackle with rock ref or Tim. So we're gonna forget tackle and we're gonna have rock throw instead, which will be great. Now if we go in against anything that, you know is weak against rock throw, a bird type. I mean, even though we have Pikachu for that. I had to find out, is, is there anything the rock type is gonna be beneficial against? I, I mean, if not anything, at least specifically defensive against. Okay, so I'll start sniffing around again, but honestly, I don't know, they, they do give you a ton of items in this game. Oh, hey, look, it Bond Slice, I think? Oh, there's a sticker over there, I missed that, I gotta go back. I gotta get every sticker, don't I? Oh, so what's this gonna be? Oh, hey, you're so cute, it's a Marie. You're adorable, you're a lightning type, I think. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're adorable, I'm so tempted to catch you. Just to you know, know that I have an option to use an adorable little sheep. I might try it. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, okay, that hurt a lot. Your special defense hardly fell. Let's try that one more time and then we'll throw a Pokeball at you. Ready? Gotcha. Oh, don't take you out though. Ah, oh, unlucky us. Sorry, adorable Marip, you'll be okay, I hope. So that wasn't too much experience compared to the Toro, so not too much awesome stuff happening there. Maybe I should, I don't I don't think I should use a repel. I feel like it's a little bit wasteful to do that, but yet there's a sticker just sitting there taunting me, and I get it. I Johnny pulled off the sticker. I have 20 of them now. I've probably missed some. Professor Oak wants to talk to you. Zzz. Oh, well, hello there. It is me, it's Samson Oak. Apparently this is Oak's cousin, Professor Oak's cousin. I see you've collected the, some Tobedome stickers. You should come by, come stop by Hiya Hiya Beach, yo. Uh, later, I'm busy. I'm super busy. I mean, I really don't even know how to get there back there very easily. It seems like everything is so drawn out. It would be hard to get there without having to go through like a million different trials, basically. So, um, oh, Lily Pup, hi Lily Pup, you're adorable. I'm fine with battling you. You seem adorable enough that you won't cause me too much harm. Uh, we'll just use more acid spray. I mean, Beardy Bill's getting some level ups here. We're almost at level 20 for this boy, which is great. Ooh, that hurt him. That really hurt poor old, poor old Little Pup's feelings. Oh my, what are you doing? Oh, you're identifying me. Well, don't do it. I don't, I, I think that Beardy Bill wants to be Beardy Bill, not identified as someone else. Keep him how he is. There's Lily Pup gone though. Ah, oh, you're so adorable. Too many cute Pokemon in this game. It's just hard to choose one over the other. Okay, well, let's keep going. I think that, I, while I'm thinking about it, we're all getting level ups. Does Beauty Bill even evolve? I don't know if every Pokemon evolves. Whoa, Taurus charging in the background. Pokemon mystery, find some Pokemon eggs. Don't tell me what to do. I mean, I guess you could. Can I bring my dog in here? No, I can't. Just stay outside. Hello, three identical looking ladies. I heard that other regions have these Pokemon daycare places. Apparently you can leave Pokemon there and they'll raise your Pokemon for you. We've got nurseries here in Alola, but all we do is hold on to your Pokemon for you. We don't help them get stronger or learn any moves, but I guess we're easier on your wallet. Oh, and there's something else. If you leave two Pokemon together at the nursery, you sometimes end up finding an egg. Since we're talking about it, don't you want the eggs I found here at the nursery recently? Sure. We received an egg! Hooray! <laughs> uh, this isn't for scrambling, right? I, I would hope not. That'd be awful. Where do you want to send the egg to? Add to your party, send to a box. I don't really get what this is. Can I add it to my party? Please select a Pokemon. Oh no, I'd have to swap something out. Oh, is this this thing where you get to put it in your inventory and then like it'll hatch eventually? Is it gonna be anything good? Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. You guys can let me know, should I hatch an egg? I'm going to send to a box. Sorry, egg, you're not even bored and you already sent off to the PC. Let me know, is that something I should do? Is there a chance that could be something worthwhile? And don't go crying to crack, trying to crack it just because you can't wait to see what's inside. 
Though I've never heard of a Pokemon egg cracking except for when it's ready to hatch. If you carry a Pokemon egg around with you, it will hatch into a Pokemon. I bet it must feel pretty happy to be surrounded by your team even before it's born. Cool. What's in the egg? Here's some help to hatch it. I'm too curious to wait. What? I'll be at your service! What? Pokemon hatch from eggs faster now. Oh, for this moment in time, they do. So that's why they give us a PC here, huh? Okay, so I think if you, like I don't know how this works. Is it about how many footsteps we take, how many battles we do? I'll switch it out with Noibu for now and see how that ends up working out for us. In the meantime, though, I got other people to talk to. Hello, sir. I heard that you'll find Pokemon eggs more quickly if you leave two Pokemon of the same species as the nursery and if they have different original trainers or OTs. So if you have two, uh, whatever these guys are normally called, Beardy Bills. If you have two Beardy Bills, will they only make a Beardy Bill egg? Is this gonna just have another Beardy Bill in it? Because I don't really want that. That would not be too exciting. Hello, do you wanna use this to awaken this and awaken your Pokemon's powers? You obtain TM10, hidden power. Uh, maybe. I don't care. Uh, hidden power changes type depending uh, on the Pokemon that learns it. Somehow I can tell what mo type of that move will be. If you'd like, I'll check what type of hidden power your Pokemon will learn. Would you like to know this? Not for now, I don't know if that's something I wanna see. If you wanna know, just ask me. Okay. Well, there's that. Um, Have we talked to you? I don't think so. I'm a Pokemon nursery lady. I know you look like all the other ones. I, I help you take care of your Pokemon of trainers like you. Lately, for some reason, I see, po see some Pokemon holding eggs. It's mysterious, isn't it? If you want us to take care of your Pokemon, please speak to my sister inside the building. Well, they don't level up in this game. Okay, what, what is this? Maybe I can pull up my pup here. Oh, I can't. You won't fit in there. Or will you? Oh, there you go. Just wasn't standing in Is there like something in here? No? What, what's, with, what's with this little corner, lady? No, I didn't. I, get me off of this thing. <laughs> okay. Weird. What else is going on around here? Which way am I supposed to be going? Oh, hey. So? Yeah, what do you mean so? I, I'm getting past you. These pseudo wudo, yeah, they're pseudo, they're not bonsai. I think that bonsai is the previous, you know, unevolution or whatever, have seemed kind of down since, ever since Lana beat them, but they're blocking the path and now no one can go through. And seems like they're so petrified of Lana now that they don't even want to see another Waterium Z after she smacked them, smacked down on them with that water type Z power of hers. Interesting, so she has water type, which is good because we have a lighting type. We got Pikachu. What do we got here? This is a heal ball. Cool. Let's move back over here. And oh, you're doing some. Are you stuck? I don't know if you're stuck or like your help. My legs are squished. I'm in so much pain. Winning in a Pokemon battle is easier than fixing my truck, especially when it lands on my knees. Mama. <laughs> oh, that's awful. I feel bad now. It's judged by Rising Star Mika, who was just using, I guess, the truck to do sit ups, which is weird. Why do you need something to do? I don't know. All right, here's a Lily Pup again. Hi. You're adorable. I think Beardy Bill's got this. I mean, Lily Pup just seems to be a normal type. Fight. And then we'll just use. We'll just acid spray this guy down. And we are in a battle, so we should be getting more experience. It'll be great. Ow, my face. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, damaged by the recoil, though. That's not good. You messed up there. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and keep fighting. So far, we're taking a bit of damage. Oh, you you avoided it. Nice job there, Beardy Bill. <laughs> Beardy Beer. <laughs> there you go. Lily Pup fainted. So there's that, 131, okay, that wasn't too much, but maybe someone will get a level up. Nope, Magnemite. Oh, I think Magnemite is a steel type? What's good against steel? I think fire's good against steel. You think that, yeah, I guess that would make sense. Let's try Charco. Cause I don't think there's a magnet type, as much as that would be funny. And I think maybe this is like a ground steel? Oh, I don't know. Magnemite's a really old Pokemon though. We'll just try, um, yeah, it's super effective. We've gone against one of you. So a double kick works really well as well. Maybe we could try Z power double kick. Let's see how that works. Are you ready? Let's fight. Go, 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 go. There you go. I don't know what kind of words those were. I mean, I was just trying for some kind of crazy catchy word like Kamehameha and it didn't work. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All out pummeling. Are you gonna do it? 
I, just, I wish there was like sort of a skip button. Like these are cool, but they take like eight years. Like like the this is longer than the actual battle. But it did take him out in almost one hit. It would have just been convenient if you could have, but no. Magnemite Sturdy, the opposing Magnemite endured the hit. Oh, so it's like a passive that it would have taken him out if he didn't have that. Interesting, is that gonna paralyze me? It is. Great, um, all I needed to do was hit you one last time. Will this land still? I mean, we could still hit him even though we're paralyzed. Uh, yeah, okay, we got you. No problems, a critical hit that I didn't even need. It's super effective, hit one time. How much experience do we get for that? I'm not sure, 179. So anyone gonna get a level up? No. All right, who would've won if I didn't lose? Well, I guess you could say that about every loss. You could've lost if you didn't win, too. You know, that's how it happens. Uh, let me go ahead and take care of Charco because he's paralyzed now. So I'm glad we saved you from your truck. How I'll fix my truck, too, once I figure out what I'm doing. I mean, you were doing sit-ups. What was I gonna do to fix your truck? I don't know. Got an amulet coin, what is that? I don't know, maybe we'll find out later. There's another trainer over here, it seems. Hi, dude. I can't believe you didn't see me. Am I that short or do you have really bad peripheral vision? All right, trial goer, have a look at my kid. Your, your, your kid? Is this gonna be like a goat type Pokemon? That'd be funny if that was just a Pokemon type. Hey, I don't care. I just love that truck he gives. He's like, man, I don't care at all. All right, he has like, what does he have on his shirt, by the way? They look like, I think they're like man keys. Oh, whoa, what in the world are you? You're his kid? Okay, this is creepy. I mean, I mean, you do you, dude. But I'm not sure. Also, why do we only have five Pokemon? Oh yeah, that's right, I, did I put the egg in? Yeah, that's right, I did put the egg in that my team, so that's fine. Acid Spray, we'll try to get Sabli here. Sabli's weird, what are you? Are you like a psychic type? That didn't do much, it's not very effective. What is poison not very effective against? I have no clue, poison type Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon resistant, to, Pokemon resistant to this type's moves. Um, well, it's telling me the type of Pokemon, but I want to know, or like the div. I know that. Okay, this, this Google stuff doesn't make sense sometimes. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're just gonna fight. We'll find out later. Uh, let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon. Let's go to. Let's do Pikachu. Let's see how Pikachu works out here. Uh, switch. Okay, I thought I already pressed switch. I was like, what's happening? And it didn't switch. Okay, well. I think he's. I think he's psychic. I think that's what's going on here. Ow. Ooh, that, that hurt a little bit. But not too much. Let's do Thunderbolt. Let's see how good Thunderbolt is. Use Thunderbolt. And. You fainted. Okay, that was really good. I just did a lot of damage. 400 experience. Beauty Bill got 315 as well. Pokepeg level 21, there we go. You wanna learn Roost? Oh, I don't know if I want you to learn Roost. I think that will keep what we have. I think I like your moves right now. We did not learn Roost. Tim, you're to level 16, that's all I wanted from Tim. Oh, we defeated Gentleman Gerald. You're growing rapidly, that was wonderful. Oh, do you think we're your kid? I don't know. <laughs> This guy's weird. Everybody in this game is weird. <laughs> Hello, do you have anything to battle me with? No, you'll find a Brooklet Hill at the end of Route 5. That's where Captain Lana does her trial. What route are we on now? Route 5? Route 5, okay. Oh, okay. I'm one of the trial guys that's here to help out young trial goers on their island challenge. Feel like learning a mysterious move, maybe? Its effects change based on where you use it. Let's see if you can beat all of the trainers on Route 5 for starters. Well, I would like to be able to heal first, if that's possible. There's tons of stuff all over the place. There is a healing station over here, and we found a super potion. Cool. So, Rotom's meter has been taking a while to go down. Oh, is this a double battle? One plus one is two, but it could be also, it could also be three or four. No, there's no way we'll lose. It's important to feel strong. But yeah, Rotom's like egg hatching meter is still going strong. Uh, hi. You were challenged by twins Issa and Nico. They look exactly the same, that's why they're twin, twins. But just because they're twins doesn't mean they will look exactly the same. That's actually not true. Oh, look at you guys. So we're gonna send out Beardy Bill and Charco. Now, when it comes down to it, Beardy Bill's really hurt right now. So if we check you out, you are super effective though. So maybe we could just get a really good hit in. Okay, what does more power? Oh wow, this is super lagging. 
So Acid Spray does 40 damage, Poison Fang does 50. So let's go ahead and try to Poison Fang Cottony, because apparently this will do some good damage. And then you will do your super effective move against Petalil, which I think is also a grass type, which has never gone against a Petalil before. Okay, so you get to go first, which is not good. Uh, Charco was seeded. Charco used Ember. Boom, that's gonna be a one hit takedown, that's great. Petalil is sound. Petalil's a nice little name. 133 experience points. Bearded Bill, level 20, there we go, that's all I wanted for you. Awesome. And Charco's almost at level 23. Okay, so he's gonna use Poison Fang. Will that be enough to take him down? It will! Okay, so we took everybody down right away unless they have more, more Pokemon, but I don't think they do. 126, 136. Versus team game and experience points, and we defeated the twins. Great! I'm too young for math. You seem way too happy. A loss and a loss make a double loss. You guys are so happy about losing and not being able to perform basic mathematics. I mean, I get your kindergartners, so I'm not gonna blame you, but that shouldn't be something you're excited for. Hey, look, there's How and who are you? Hi! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Man, I lost again. Who are you? You got some crazy hair. Are you even taking this seriously? I am, so seriously, I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it. Which clearly, you haven't. Man, you are angry, you got some teenage angst going on. Whoa, hey Zebron. This guy is plenty scary. Your Zebron? <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> Who? Yeah, that's me. Don't you see my striped shirt? Isn't it obvious? Humph, <laughs> not very cautious. Even some Pokemon have a better sense of self-preservation than you apparently do. Oh yeah? I'm Gladion, or Gladion. I'm certainly not glad about anything, so I regret my own name. Me and my partner, Type No, are training to get stronger. My voice is very deep for a 12-year-old. We have to get stronger, though most of our time these days goes to working for Team Skull as their muscle. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. Well, geez, fine. I, I'm pretty sure that's assault. You're appearing for my lawyer. <laughs> um, okay, we're going against Skull Dude Gladion. Ooh, ooh, you, you really got that, like, angst going on. You're challenged by Team Skull Gladion. I hope it's Gladion. Team Skull sent out Zubat. Okay, Team Skull Gladion sent out Zubat. What's gonna be good against Zubat? Zubat's not a flying type. I, I think I remember that and being like, why isn't he a, a flying type? Let's see. Nothing we have is super effective against him. The problem is that Beardy Bill is just really beat up, so if I could switch out to something else, if I knew I was gonna go into a battle here, I would've been a bit more prepared. Um, let's just use Poke Pack. Flying versus flying at the least, you know? Won't lose anything. There's just so many Pokemon and so many different types. Maybe I should just look it up really quickly. Zubat. Uh. Okay, so that didn't hurt us too much. Type is a, no, he is a flying, okay. He's a flying poison. So for right now, I can just go ahead and do, Pluck does more damage, so we'll try some Pluck action here. Ready? Boom. And we have a way higher level. Holy cow, what did, what? What? Well, what in the world are you? Wait, Zora? Zoro, Zorua? What? You're, you're, you look like Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't get it. <laughs> I guess you were pretending to be a different Pokemon? Cool. That's actually really cool. What in the world? I like that. Also, he's like shivering over there. Are you cold, buddy? I mean, you are wearing a thick jacket for this weather. Are you sending out another Zubat? Now I don't believe you. Like, maybe it's something that's strong against lightning type or things that are strong against, like, it's strong against things that are strong against flying types, and it's trying to fool me. I have no idea what kind of Pokemon this is, but we got our cool Pikachu. Are you a real Zubat this time? This song is really good too, I like this. It feels like an old school Pokemon song, but different. It's really cool. Anyways, let's zap you. Ooh, it's super effective. The opposing Zubat fainted. Okay, so 190 experience there. We're almost level, oh, Charco level 23, almost level 23 with Pikachu as well. Type no, what is this? Let's keep battling, Pikachu's pretty ready to go. What is type no? Whoa, what are you? What will Pikachu do? Be mentally scarred for life, maybe? 
Well, let's try a lightning attack, even though you look like you have like some weird things going on. Oh, that sort of hurt. Use tackle. This is going to like insta destroy me. Ooh, that didn't feel good. Um, we could, oh wow, we have Iron Tail. What does that do? The target is slammed with a steel hard tail. This may also lower the target's defense stand. That has 100 damage to it as well. We'll try Iron Town. Ooh, ooh, that didn't do much. I don't know, maybe you don't have a typing. Like, I don't know, maybe you're just weird. Pikachu stack, okay, at least you're gonna paralyze. I probably should have switched out a Pikachu. Oh, poor Pikachu, I feel bad. All right, well, who's plenty of health? Charco, you're gonna come out here. You have 56 out of 68 health. This thing is weird. I think we'll be able to take him, but what in the world is it? Are you gonna show up in my Pokedex? Maybe we could use our Z power fighting against you. Hopefully it'll be enough to finish you off. This guy is just so weird. All right. Hiya, 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 power! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, come on now. This guy to finish him off, right? He's at like half health. This is gonna hit him pretty hard. Hopefully hard enough to get something done. That'd be great. Gonna pummel you, and ooh. Can we catch this thing? Is this like a Pokemon in the game, or is this like some kind of like weird science experiment? It looks like they mismatched a whole bunch of different Pokemon. It's super effective, so you are weak against fighting. Glad we found something that works against you. Charker gained 358 experience. The rest of our team gained some decent experience, but nothing that's gonna get us to level up. Whoa, he's like, no, I have been defeated. How annoying. Forget your voice. Okay, well, <laughs> we defeated Gladion. Quite the gladiator Pokemon. Oof, oof, he's upset. <laughs> it's not like me to slip up like that. I've gotta keep fighting stronger opponents. It looks like I'm still not ready. Strong opponents? That kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling. But this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard. He can't, because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hala when he's serious. Didn't he beat Hala? You know my grams? Wait, so you think I so you think I'm strong? Oh, look at you, little Gladion. Aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> I don't get it. I thought he just said he couldn't do that. What? Oh no, well, we got these guys. I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would, would turn out spineless too, huh? No worries, we've got some we got enough backbone to cover you. Okay, wait. So they're not even nice to him. The skull kids aren't even nice to each other. Just give it up already. Huh? Oh no, I, I misread that. You know you can't beat me. You just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. <laughs> I just have this like smile on my face. Yeah, they're good Pokemon. We came all this way and for what? For a big fat waste of our time thanks to you. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen that totem Pokemon from Brooklyn Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying and it's time we should be flying. All right, see you, lady. Listen up good, Gladion. The boss does like you, that's true. But you're just some hired help we keep around for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull, not really, and you never will be, got it? You better get it. We well, gonna beat you up if you aren't careful. <laughs> he just, he has a, he's gonna hurt his back, keep walking like that, that's bad for your posture. All right, well, we defeated that that guy. Thanks, Zebra and Grimer, too. You both gave it your all. Phew, looks like well, I've got to train up my team if I'm gonna take on the trial at Brooklyn Hill next. Here's Zebra, take these with you. We're gonna beat this island challenge. What do we get? Ooh, we, uh, three, they just love throwing revives at us. Okay, cool, thanks, Hal, and thank you guys for watching. That's gonna finish it up for this episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Gladion Zebra, so I know you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.